Today I will be discussing about some basic concepts of sociology. Social, generally speaking, sociology is a science of society, the study of society. In depth, sociology is the scientific study of society. The scientific means it refers to an the objective method of investigation reasoning and logic based on observation and experiment. The goal of science is to observe in order to understand, to understand in order to predict and to predict in order to control. With the use of this knowledge, the sociology aims to acquire knowledge in this way without bias and prejudice. The knowledge is objective. The, the foremost among those who started studying sociology in this way is Agascon, the founder of sociology, a French philosopher. According to Agascon, sociology is a science of social phenomena subjected to natural or invariable laws, discovery of which is the objective of investigation. The term sociology is derived from the Latin word socius and Greek word logos. Socius meaning society, society meaning companionship or friendship, logos meaning study or science. And some other scholars define sociology in this way or according to uh, Fairchild, sociology is a science of relationship between man and environment. According to Max Weber, Sociology is the interpretative understanding of social action. And according to Emily Durkheim, sociology is a science of collective behavior or social facts. All these definitions, from these definitions, we emphasize that sociology is the scientific study of society, is a study of social life, the study of social relationship, the study of social action, the study of social relationship and structure and organization. What is organization? The, somebody uh, can uh, doubt about organization. So, it is an institution. Some people say it is an institution and some other stations, uh, uh, some people combine together to perform some common objectives. Here in sociology, social organization means a state of being or a condition in which Various social institutions in our society are functioning accordance with the recognized or implied purposes. Okay, then uh, the I will teach about uh, na nature of sociology. This uh, sociology, first of all, uh, we uh, uh, this, uh, we uh, said that so it's a scientific study of society. It is the scientific uh, study in so of society means. First, careful observation, which means the careful observation. Through the observation, what we occur data, it uh, recording it in a logical basis, and then finally generalization was made. And the science of sociology is built upon the basement of social facts and actual data. The principles and laws of sociology are universal. And sociology can find out the cause and effect relationship between the subject matters. And then we talk about the uh, scope of sociology. That there are two schools of thought, the specialistic or formalistic school and synthetic school. The, the major contributors of the specialistic school, uh, Simmel, who is the father of uh, specialistic school and Emily, Dirk, uh, Emily Durkheim is the father of synthetic school. The formalist is the main pioneers of sim, uh, formalistic school. Simmel, Small, Virkan, Max Weber, Von Wiese and Turney. According to Simmel, sociology is the specific branch of social science which analyzes, classifies and describes the different forms of social relationship. Then Small's view, sociology deals about the generic form of social relationship. According to Virkan, sociology is the subject of mental or psychic form of social relationship and for him Max Weber According to him, sociology is an interpretative understanding of social behavior. 
Von Wieser says that sociology deals about the different types and forms of social relationship. And Tony uh, differentiates society and community on the basis of social relationship. Then the synthetic school, the main contributors are Emily Durkheim, Hobhaus, Sorokin, Karl Mannheim and Ginsberg. Emily Durkheim, all, I am already saying that Emily Durkheim is the father of synthetic school. He classifies or branches sociology into three. First of all, social morphology, then social physiology and finally social general sociology. Social, social morphology deals about the territorial or geographical aspects of living together and the population and about population, the composition of population, the sex wise and age wise. And social physiology deals more than several branches, sociology of laws, sociology of education, sociology of morals, sociology of language, etc. General sociology deals about the general features of social facts. Then second one, Hobhaus. Uh, according to Hobhaus, sociology is a synthesis of various social sciences. He explained or emphasized uh, the, uh, the essential uh, important task of sociology, three different tasks of sociologists. The first one is sociology should perform, should uh, st his study in a particular part of his social field. Second one, to interconnect the results arrived by the different social sciences. And third one, uh, to sociology interpret social life as a whole. Then, then uh, Sorokin, according to Sorokin, sociology is a study about this relationship between different aspects of social phenomena. Um, according to, uh, then he's, he also is al always say that uh, the relationship between social and non-social phenomena and general features of social phenomena. And then uh, I talk about uh, Karl Mannheim. Karl Mannheim uh, divided sociology into two branches, general sociology and uh, historical sociology. The general sociology deals about the uh, general sociology general sociology deals about the the main what are the main factors living together in every kind of society and historical sociology deals about the historical variety or historic general features of society. And finally um, Ginsberg Gins, according to Ginsberg sociology deals about the important and uh, kind of social relationship and I'll add the topic to the topic 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 okay okay I'll continue to continue okay then okay okay Next, I will uh, say about the, say, some basic concepts of sociology. First of all, society. Society means uh, means companionship or friendship, and also it is a system. So, so society is the system of usages and procedures, and the system of authority, and system of mutual aid of many groupings, and divisions of control of human behavior and of liberties. And society means it's a collection of people who have mutual understanding. Through the through their understanding, they establish relationship and then maintain their in relationship, uh, interrelationship among themselves. The society have varieties of similarities and into uh, differences. The individuals may differ in their uh, uh, look, uh, capabilities, taste, uh, talent, etc. The society, the interdependence is one of the important character of society, that is society and I will uh, talk about uh, in community, the, 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 then I will uh, say about uh, community and differentiate between society and community. So many people are confused with the community, what is con community? Community is the total organization of social life with, within a limited area. The limited area is very important point about uh, uh, community. Within a limited area, people who have common feelings, common sentiments and uh, uh, then uh, we feeling uh, etc. And they are, the community is permanent and naturally in origin, natural in origin. 
they hold a particular names community hold a particular name but society is not def society have no definite particular area but community is have a particular area community have a particular area society have no particular area then uh, I will talk about the socialization. Socialization is another basic concept of sociology. Socialization means is a uh, is a process is a process of learning. Socialization is the process of learning. Through the process of learning, what we acquire from our surroundings that is uh, our culture. Socialization socialization means it's a process of learning. Only learning process and culture is what we learn from our society. That is our culture. It is a learned behavior. Culture is a learned behavior. The culture, according to Taylor, E. B. Taylor, culture culture is the complex whole which include knowledge, art, morals, law, custom, and any other capabilities acquired by man as a member of the society. Any is a uh, according to uh, Taylor, it is a complex whole. We all include including what we are, everything is our culture. From our birth, what we occur from our society, everything is our culture. It is a learned behavior, it is shared, it is social, it is transmissive, it transmits from one generation to other generation, it is cumulative, it is cumulative means the past, present, it all includes in, the, in our culture and also include it is continuous and also include our future yeah, that so I, it is continuous and it is uh, um, it is uh, dynamic and gratifying so superficial and or uh, it, uh, more than it is it is position is more than the organic and inorganic it is super organic is it, that is my our culture then, then you know, I will tell. I, I will say about uh, the process of socialization. Socialization what, what, through what through the process of socialization we acquire culture that is imitation, uh, suggestions, identification, and language. The so, imitation is the acting the uh, imit acting others' behavior that is our that is imitation. Suggestion. Suggestion means uh, it is the process of communication. Uh, it's, a pro com it's a process of communication. Uh, we what we uh, uh, conviction of the is the is the communication process. Communi conviction that is our conviction, not logical basis. That is suggestion identification. The people identify the things. Uh, what, uh, what the things what we, what is the use of that things? That is our identification of. Ident that is our identification and language is the vehicle of communication through the language we at we acquire more knowledge from our society that is that is the pro pro process of socialization